Six months ago, I bought a BMW 428i Grand Coupe as a daily, and shortly thereafter got rear-ended by a semi. So today, we're gonna make lemonade out of lemons, and we're gonna give this thing a great refresh. We reached out to a few partners to go ahead and give this thing a refresh on the interior and the exterior. That being said, we got a huge pile of parts behind me that we're gonna go ahead and install on this thing. So let's go over them and get started. So starting with the exterior of this, we have an M4 style front bumper from Keys Motorsports. We also got ourselves a front lip and we had them spray this gloss black to match the shadow line of this car. This is definitely my favorite bumper for any F style yeah. or any F chassis. Oh, it's not just the bumper. What do you got behind you? Pretty much a whole front clip off an M car, which is really cool. So we have a set of M4 style front fenders. So these are cool because they're narrow body. The M4 or the M3 yeah. is actually a wide body. So these allow us to run the M vents without having to wide body the car in the back. We also have an M3 or M M3 or M4, either one, yeah. They're CS both. style hood, which is really cool. It's really gonna transform the front end of this thing and make it look like a proper M car. So, rear end got smashed. We already got a new rear bumper. Um, right now, we still have the stock exhaust, which is only a dual tip, but it's single outlet on the left side. I love dual outlet split. So we had Keys send out this uh, new diffuser that had the dual outlet. We had it sprayed gloss black, just like the front lip. So I have an N20, which is just an inline four. This is an exhaust that is for the inline six, 335s, 340s, or the four okay. series of that. Is it gonna fit? Well, we're gonna make it fit. We're gonna make it fit, <laughs> all right. That's what she said. <laughs> it's AWE, they have all kinds of exhausts. Specifically, I asked for this one because I wanted the dual outlet. This thing looks really sharp. I cannot wait to see it paired up with this piano black. It's got piano black tips. It's kind of like a chromium black. I like that. It's gonna stand out. It's gonna, you know, kind of handle the heat a little bit better. Got a bunch of carbon bits over here too. What's this all about? I like wet carbon. It's really hard to find wet carbon. Everybody likes dry. They like the texture. They like that. You know, I think Mickey had the dry carbon in his, in his wagon. I've been shopping around and piecing together all these wet carbon fiber uh, uh, pieces. I can't wait for those because I'm gonna to touch those on a daily basis as I drive the car. I'm also gonna be hitting these up. These are the door trim or the, the door pole trims. So last but not least, we have a set of rotiform DTMs. These are 19 by eight and a half plus 35. And I absolutely love the look. It's a very classic German race style look and it's gonna transform this thing. We also have a set of Falcon FK510 tires on it. You guys know we love Falcon tires. If you guys are in the market for a new set of wheels, head over to throttle.com. We have tons of wheels on the website. We're offering free shipping on any rotiform wheel purchase. So head over there, pick up your wheels today. You ready to get started on this thing, Will? Dude, I've been been ready for a while. Let's do this. Let's get this thing up on the rack, start throwing some wrenches at it. All right, well that's four door cards and the interior. It's looking pretty spicy, Will. You like it? I definitely like the, the red accents. I like it against the gray. I really like that. Yeah, it's, it's a really nice color combo. And this is this gloss piano black is really nice. Mine is uh, silver in my car. Oh. Black is really nice. Crazy. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do right now is use one of our partners for this. This is Carly. This is gonna help us plug into the OBD2. We're gonna check for any kind of error codes that are showing up. All right, we are plugged into our OBD2 with the Carly module that comes with your purchase. And I'm logged in, connected to the car. I gotta say, I've used Carly before. I've noticed, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys will notice too, that the visualization has been improved. They've really upgraded the user interface. It's a lot cleaner, it's a lot easier to read, use. The graphics are really nice too. The repair and maintenance content, like the information they provide, is very much improved. It gives you really in-depth information on your vehicle, anything that it sees when it's doing a full scan of it. 
There's even a possibility of seeing old service or maintenance records that have been worked on your car previously. A recently cleared system, so it's ju just letting me know things that have recently been kind of looked at now. This car was just in the repair shop, so of course they had to connect to it and reset, almost just flash this thing new. Now, a big thing here too is the thing called Smart Mechanic. So if you have a scanner tool or if you have a friend that has a scanner tool and it just gives you like a six digit code, this actually gives you a definition of what that code is. So there's, it's removing an additional step and additional information that you have to track down outside of the app. It is right here. It's a huge database. There is a link in the description below. Click on that and get a Carly for yourself and take a good close look at your car. Make sure you're driving safely. Thanks to Carly. Now let's get back to this episode. So before we replace the exhaust, we're gonna get a before clip, see what it sounds like, see how much better it's gonna sound once we throw the AWE exhaust on it. Get in there, bro, what are you doing? Car's not gonna wreck itself, brother. Easy. Is it on? Ah. I hear way more from the engine bay than I do from the exhaust and we're standing behind the car. Yes. What is this? What are you doing? Don't you worry about that. What are you doing? What is that? Why? Where, where's it? My, my guy got in an accident. Yeah. Oh yeah. He got hit. Did you just have the stock one laying around? You just threw that one on real quick. What's that? You're right. This thing? That one. Yeah. I right. kept him. You know, one of those hoarders that just keeps everything, even though he upgrades it. Well. This is an axle back exhaust system, so all we're gonna basically be replacing is two inches after this weld point, we're gonna need to do a cut right here, and then we're gonna join right there. Something like this, right there. Well, looking at all kinds of stuff that's shown on this AWE exhaust, and one thing they call out here is their 180 degree technology. So that is a drone canceling patented technology that AWE offers in their exhaust systems. That's good, because that's gonna mean less cabin noise while I'm driving. So even though it may sound more aggressive if you're behind or outside of the car, inside of the car, it's not gonna be a nuisance at all. So in order for me not to worry about any kind of error codes, the bypass valve right here, just for kind of noise control, I am transferring it over there and we're gonna plug it in, but it's not gonna actually be controlling a valve per se, it's just gonna always be open. This is just so I don't get a cell phone. Oh yeah. So that normally would turn or handle this, control the valve. I'm just gonna leave that guy there, not use it. So we have the exhaust system on. A couple of the clamps are tight, but most of them are still loose so we can adjust and move stuff around. So what we're gonna do now is put our new uh, rear lower fascia on, our little diffuser here. Make sure we have the tips where we want them. Put the tips on, make sure everything's good, and then we'll tighten everything down and be done with the exhaust. And also be done with this. So it looks fantastic. I want to hear how it sounds though. So let's play a before and after clip and compare the two.
sounds a ton better than it used to. It's got a little bit of a burble, it's got a deeper tone, it's got a meaner um, growl at the first start. It sounds really good. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the Throttle channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. It's time to throw on the Rotiform GTMs in silver. So these are wrapped at the Falcon FK10s. Again, these are a perfect blend of street quietness and grip. And this is, it went from a staggered setup from the stock. This is 255 all around. More grip in the front. It is time to blast apart the front end of this. Let's go, let's start with this. Oh my gosh, it's starting already. So I bought this car used. There's a few things that bugged me about it that started noticing some repairs, things like that. Just, just little things that anybody who's perfectionist or likes to think they are, it irks them every day, every time you wash it, you rub your hand over it. And, and there's four damn holes here that I just wanted gone. This is my first Beamer, everybody makes mistakes. I did get the <laughs> kidney grills that have Bavarian colors or whatever you want to call them. The M badge. Those are the M stripes, this brother. Is, this is the badge of a brand new BMW owner and I wore it proudly, uh, but it's time. We're gonna switch these out to all black. Luckily, Mickey has an extra set and I think he said I can have them. If not, thank you, Mickey. I'm volunteering you that I'm gonna take those and put them on here. We worked with Tory Pines. Huge shout out to Patrick and his crew for doing this. While they were already painting the rear, they went ahead and sprayed these as well. things on the fenders to transfer over. This is the bracket that held in the lower side. This is the new guy. So we have an M4 style yeah. side vent as opposed to the stock uh, M Sport vent. It's a much more aggressive looking fender. Pretty much that's the only difference, which is really nice about these because they're narrow body and they literally just pull right on. We just swapped out for the M4 fenders. Now it's time to get this awesome, aggressive, bulgy looking hood. We just removed the old one. It's got some hooks and some stuff that we need to transfer over. Hood, fenders are on, they're lined up pretty well. It's time to move on to the bumper. We have some parking distance control sensors, some kidney grills, uh, some other things that we need to transfer from one to the other. And then it's time to fit that, get that gapped up, lined up, and this thing is transformed. Already looking sweet. Look at all those freaking curves, all those plays with the light and everything. Ah. Oh.
Dang it. What did we just find out, Quinn? So unfortunately, the ones that Mickey had it for a three series, this is a four series, so they're different. These are actually wider than the three series ones, so we have to use these for now until Will orders a new set, not M stripe. But now he's got the M front end, so it's it's more it fitting. It makes more sense, right? It's more fitting than it was. <laughs> These are the wet carbon fiber door pulls. Right now I have the black Napa leather. This is what normally comes with an F80. I asked Straight Six if this was something that they could find and they found it for me. So huge shout out to Straight Six again. And it's just gonna refresh that. That's, it's gonna match that. Ooh, matchy matchy. What the heck is Will doing to his door curtain? Uh, so the, the door pulls in here, the thing was just chunked up. Somebody had a weird ring on there or something. Exactly where your hand reached to pull this door closed was just textured and it should be a smooth, soft touch rubber. These things are all plastic welded in here, so I had to get the right size drill bit to take just enough of material away of what was mushroomed from a plastic weld. Uh, and then there's some nice hardware that Keys provides with these door pulls to take place of that. All right, so that's it for the door cards. Now I have some wet carbon fiber paddle shifters to put on, so I'm gonna take the wheel off, set it on a table, get those transferred over, reinstall it, and this thing is closing in on getting done. All right, that's it, this car is complete. Now it's time to get it out in the daylight and show you guys what this thing looks like as a finished product. Can't wait, let's go. That is a wrap on today's episode. This is huge. Huge shout out to Keys Motorsports. Huge shout out to Rotiform. Huge shout out to AWE and our guys over at Straight Six in Oceanside, California. All of our partners helped out tremendously on this build. This now has an M4 front end. It has the M Sport rear end that it had before, but now it has dual tips. It's back to the OE taillights, which I think look better than those LED smoke ones that I had. The interior is bright red wet carbon fiber, everything feels so premium. I think all there is left to do is slam it and upgrade the brakes and this thing is done. I cannot wait to drive this thing on a daily basis. It already sounds fantastic. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, tell your friends. Go get your own F chassis and upgrade yours with all these awesome parts. We'll see you guys next time. Not M stripe. But now he's got the M front end, so it's, it's more It fake. makes more sense, right? It's more fitting than it was. It's like they said it's more fake. <laughs> no, it's more fitting. <laughs> I'm just more committed to the fake is what's going on now. Hey, fake it till you make it, baby. Just don't pass anyone at high speed, no fingers in him. Yep. As long as you're behind him.
they'll be like, that's weird. It's an M, M front, but only an M sport rear end. That's why you don't pass them. Quinn, what do you think of those rims there, bud? Those are the, uh, yeah, those are weird. So. We call them rims. That's Go for it. What do you think of those rims there, Quinn? I love oh, them. God, I said rims. You just love a good rim, don't you? Yeah. Well. Uh